welcome back to my channel and if you're new hey what's up my name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video as always there will be timestamps listed down below so you can jump around and if you love what you see smash that subscribe button hit that notification bell and thumbs this video up I do try to post as regularly as possible with as many new releases as possible so being subscribed and turning that notification bell on will go a long way in ensuring that you never miss out on all the fun, new content, new releases, and everything that is the Fawn family. Now, I do keep track of my teeth just to make sure nothing is transferring, but my lip combo right now is Huda Beauty's Demi Matte Creme Lipstick. I laid down Passionista and then I laid down Bonnie over top so it's a complete mixture of these two as well as Milani's new Luda Krause lip gloss in 200 whatever uh, in case anybody is wondering what is on my lips but this is a complexion video and I also use the Tati Beauty Blendiful it is really good but there's going to be a video dedicated to just this so you will see her in action but I'm not going to get into detail on how good the product is right now so uh, with starting with primer I tested out the new glam glow super mattify six acid clarifying primer I was gonna go with uh, so Mm, I can't remember what the brand is right now. I'm so blanking. Uh, but I decided to go with this one because I was having some breakouts today. So I'm like, oh, this would probably be a good time to try it. And this, like, just shocked me in all ways imaginable in like the best way possible it is such a good product the compact is so super cute and I love it and then you open it up nice size mirror this pink spatula with its little glam glow um, star comes with it and it came like that and then this seals really well now when you are first done with it it sounds like it suctions but you need to do that extra little push to make sure that it is sealed so you don't have your product drying out and then it looks like this and what you do is you warm it up between your fingertips to activate to activate I cannot talk, I swear, I cannot talk today. I don't know what it is. But I've been struggling in every single video. But you take the product and you rub it between your fingers and it act activates the acids. And then you rub it on your face and of course you want to push it into your pores once you get your face coated. And... I was expecting it to like suck the life out of my skin because it's supposed to be like mattifying and I thought this is going to be just like uncomfortable and I'm not going to like it but you know it's going to probably just be great for my skin since I'm going through like hormonal breakouts right now and it wasn't like that at all. Somehow Glam Glow figured out this amazing balance where it is still really nourishing and hydrating while being pore filling and then it has all of these amazing ingredients to help with your breakouts at the same time and the texture is unlike any primer texture I have ever felt and as I was massaging it into my face it just felt like such a luxurious primer and it was so beautiful it felt like skincare it didn't feel like makeup it, it is such a it's I have goosebumps it is so good. I will be reaching for this primer time and time again, especially when I have hormonal breakouts going on because it also allows your skin to breathe while treating it. So, I mean, during the unboxing, I read everything to you guys. So you'll get more information there, but it is a really good primer. Like, 
it might be top of 2020. I don't know. Obviously, it's only January, but they hit it out of the ballpark with this one. It is awesome. And then, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen one of my more recent, um, like, full face pro uh, complexion, or just full face uh, products. Oh my god, full face videos. I told you I'm struggling. I don't know what is happening. But when I tested out the Hourglass Concealer, one of the shades was peachy. So I was like, I'm going to test it out the peachy one as my color corrector in my next video so I did that today and that was the shade Silk Vanish and for some reason this one did not burn my eyes at all so the concealer color burned the crap out of my eyes but the peachy one there was no irritation at all and it cancelled out my face, my life, and it was perfect. <laughs> all imperfections were gone. So this was awesome. Now, <laughs> um, like, hate this product and I don't see that often um, and I feel really bad but like, it's awful. Like, I, I have it, it's, it's the new Milani Screen Queen Natural Finished Foundation. I have four shades, first of all, uh, because I picked up two shades. I had early access to them on, on Ulta, and then I picked up another two shades from an early access on Milani and I ended up with four different shades so I swatch all four shades and then I ended up using 140 nude ivory I believe in the end and it sits on top of your skin it makes your whole face look like you have nothing but pores so it like just creates this canvas of pores and texture and it looks so bad um I didn't realize either that it was light to medium coverage but that is fine that it's a light to medium foundation you know like that's what the foundation is but the way it looked on my skin I <laughs> It's not what I'm wearing right now. I, I Well, it's on my face, but I layered my Charlotte Tilbury, um, the newest one, the natural, flawless, the natural, airbrush, fall, airbrush flawless foundation over top of it. Um, yeah, I haven't tested out a foundation this bad in a really long time. And like, I generally love Milani products. Like, I keep her stick foundation top shelf and then her full coverage like uh, foundation that has been around forever. I love that one too. I love her uh, concealer that she launched around the time of the stick foundation. Like if you guys have been with me for a while or you've gone back in videos, you guys know like I love her complexion products. And this is like a horrific fail. I was just like, I, I can't, I, I, I can't, this needs to get covered up. Like it, it was just, it, it's bad. Uh, I loved the fact that there was a blue light filter in here, but at the end of the day, my skincare already encompasses such a strong blue light filter protection and then my phone is on maximum blue light my uh, computer is on maximum blue light so I mean when you're out and about in the world you can't control the technology around you but my skincare has it so this was just so bad I cannot recommend this to you guys even if you're looking for like that light to medium coverage because the way it just sat on top of the skin was just so bad. Like, mm -mm. nope. 
so then I tested out the L'Oreal Infallible Loose Setting Powder in 612 Translucent Light Medium. And this is a really good setting powder. I was like really pleasantly surprised. And it is a really nice powder. So, um... I have nothing bad to say about it. It was, it's translucent with like an ever so slight tint to it, but it is really, really beautiful. Oh, and I also tested out ColourPop's Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer, and this is a really nice concealer. I still have the original ones in a box somewhere that I have not had a chance to test out, but the newest one, I can tell you, I highly recommend it. I think it is beautiful. Unfortunately, I need a shade lighter than Fair 20N, but this was still light enough. I just, I have so much makeup on my face, it's not even funny because it's issues with make, with the foundation and all that, but this is a beautiful concealer, so I do recommend that one. So, if you guys want to see the... Everything in action, including the awful foundation, <laughs> then just keep on watching. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to start the unboxing portion. It is going to be a primer, foundation, concealer, and setting powder. And we are going to obviously start with the order in which we apply the products. And I just washed my hair and no, it is not greasy. I am trying to retrain my hair. Now this is like mirror image. Why can't I get, ah, no. Okay, no, this way. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to retrain my hair. I'm making a worse mess of it uh, on a part. So I have a product in there that's like trying to hold it. Why can I not figure this out right now? This way. There we go. <laughs> and it really holds it down because I want my part to be like a little bit more dramatic. So that's what you're looking at. But I couldn't decide between primers because I have so many that I'm dying to try with like all the new Laura Mercier and so many new launches. Like, oh my goodness. But I decided on the Shiseido Wasso Poreless Matte Primer. I also have the new Glam Glow. Maybe I want to, and see, like, my hair gets, like, greasy from touching all of my creams and stuff, so I end up having to go back and dry shampoo it anyway if I don't throw it up right away. I know, too much talking. Uh, I also have the new Glam Glow Super Mattify Six Acid Clarifying Primer. All Day Oil Control, control Smooth Minimize Pores. Prep clarify prime maybe I want to try this one actually yeah I'm gonna change my mind because I am I have a couple breakouts happening around my nose and all that so we're gonna switch it up so this one says prep the clarify prime super mattify instantly mattifies minify minif oh my god minimizes <laughs> The look of pores and works to clarify skin with the super six acid blend for an always sexy never shiny clear complexion infused with pore purifying charcoal this lightweight primer balm applies clear creating a silky smooth blurred base for flawless even face makeup application while providing all day oil and shine control. This non acnegenic formula forms a comfortable, breathable barrier, barrier why can I not talk right now, <laughs> that helps keep dirt, oil, debris, and makeup from clogging pores for clearer, clearer glowing skin with or without makeup. Apparently, I needed to do mouth exercises before coming on camera today. Use with spatula, scoop a pearl-sized amount of primer, massage between fingers to activate the acid complex, apply and massage evenly onto face, use as the last step in your skincare routine before makeup. So we're gonna try this baby out and let's open her up. Hello Sexy, that is always part of their packaging. 
Oh, this is really nice. I like the compact. Oh, and it's a pink spatula. I love it. It has their little star. That's super cute. And then a nice mirror. That's intense. And that's what it looks like. So we have that baby. Then I have picked up two shades in the Milani Screen Queen Natural Finish Foundation. I have 100 Classic Alabaster and 110 Cool Porcelain. It is the Digital Blue Light Filter Foundation. I also have the Infallible uh, Loose Setting Powder in 612 Translucent Light Medium by L'Oreal. Now, I had early access to these foundations and powder from Ulta Beauty by being a Diamond member, so I picked them up right away when I had early access. And then I couldn't film because I wasn't feeling well. And then I didn't remember that I picked up those products because I was sick and not feeling well. So I then picked up, and I picked up the, are they the same colors? I think so. Oh no, they're not the same colors. 140 Ivory Nude Ivory and 150 Cool Shell. So we have four different foundation shades uh, to pick from. And the blue light in here is going to help you because I've talked about blue light filter, how uh, bad blue light is for your skin for like rapidly increasing aging and fine lines, wrinkles. I use a blue light serum morning and evening. I have been for about a year now. I have a blue light mist and I I just will not skip blue light serums and mists in my skincare like routine period. So whenever there's also blue light, like my sunscreen, my Murad 50 SPF, it has blue light in it. Anything that I can buy that has blue light, I get it. So I'm really interested in this uh, foundation. So it says it's a luminous natural skin finish, buildable, oh, it's only light to medium coverage. Oh, well, that sucks. I did not know that. Mm. And no alcohol. So that's awesome. It's, of course, cruelty-free and vegan. I'm really bummed about that light to medium coverage because I really want more than that. Uh, but that's what, hopefully... The concealer is for. So I haven't tried the original ColourPop concealer even though I have have it and it is sitting in a haul box somewhere. But I do have the new Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer sitting here. So it is a long wearing, yes, full coverage. So if I have to just essentially paint my face with the concealer afterwards, I will. Uh, infused with hydrating ingredients for a natural fresh finish. Prep under eyes with your favorite eye cream. Apply concealer to cover blemishes and even out skin tone and blend using fingertips, beauty sponge, or brush. However, I bought three of Tati's Blendifuls because you're supposed to be able to use it for foundation, concealer, cream contour, powder, like essentially everything on your face. But I don't want like the powder puff to be used for, you know, a light foundation and then a cream contour. And I know it has all different angles, but I want to try them and have it make sure that like nothing gets, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> I 
I am so, I'm so at a loss for words, contaminated, like if it accidentally mixed with a cream contour for instance. So I want to give this like a really fair shot and use them separately. So I do have these that we're going to be putting to the test with these products. So uh, that is awesome and the ingredient list is also very clean. So that's great. And then the setting powder is a lightweight control shine. It has talc as its first ingredient, so just beware. It says that there is no white cast, it's long lasting, and it's lightweight. So, oh, and the um, foundation, you get one fluid ounce. The concealer you get 0.30 ounces or 6.5 grams and you get 0.26 ounces or 7.5 grams in the setting powder and the Glam Glow you get 0.5 ounces or 15 grams. Oh, and uh, in my last video, I had tested out the Hourglass Concealer, which was such a beautiful concealer, but one of the shades I picked up was so peachy that I think it's going to be a great color corrector, and that is in the shade Silk Vanish. So today we're going to put Silk Vanish to the test as a color corrector as well. I just realized I never read... There, not that there's much to read, but with the Tati Beauty Blendiful, you get the one Blendiful and the one Baby Blendiful, and it just says no harsh lines. It's cruelty free, vegan, and it's made in China. And the cleaning instructions are machine wash and dry in a delicate laundry bag or gently hand wash in warm soapy water. Rinse thoroughly and blot dry. Do not bleach. Do not dry clean. It is 100% polyester. So. Now... Right out the gate, I mean, I don't have a large and charge one, but it is a much softer, like more furry, I would say, like powder puff compared, like this is a Chanel one, for instance, compared to a Chanel powder puff or like I have the newest Estee Lauder Act 5 handy. I have an RMS Beauty. It is very different in texture from every one that I just have like lingering on my beauty desk. So I, I really have not ever felt one like this. It is super soft and just very different. Um, the only thing I can critique about this is that this little guy is supposed to be like an on the go. And I don't like that it doesn't come with a carrying case because of bacteria, cross-contamination in your purse, even if it's in a beauty bag, because this is going like directly onto your face for touch-ups. And for me, I don't get shiny or oily throughout the day. I would use this to help with foundation collecting in my smile lines to try to push that out uh, or you know if I have my leaky eye problem so I'm hoping like I said in when I reviewed the or act four oh my god I'm tired the act four from Estee Lauder it w that it will fit in this pouch because I actually got a pouch with that powder and I hated that powder and it will. Okay, so I can keep mine clean and something good came out of the powder that I hated. But that's the only thing. I wish she would have included a case for this. Um, well, I guess that's not the only thing. We haven't reviewed it yet. But aside from that, um, I think she should have a little case for her to go. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to get started on applying these products. Okay, so starting with the primer, 
I'm so cute. I'm so excited that they have this cute little pink spatula. But that's so on theme, on brand with Glam Glow. I don't know why I would expect anything less than pink. This has a really good suction. Like, it's a very good seal. Oh, it scoops up very, very easily. It's not hard. It feels very creamy right away. Now once you don't activate it in your fingertips, I think it may have taken too much. Yeah, this is super creamy. It has a very faint smell to it, but I can't put my fingers on it. I need a little more for my forehead. This is weird, it feels like skincare. It does not feel like a primer at all. It feels beautiful on the skin. Like it is a really beautiful primer. It feels hydrating, not like mattifying. It doesn't feel like it's gonna, you know, dry my face out, suck the life out of my skin. This might be a really great primer as like your step one primer if you suffer from breakouts and then go in with something maybe a little bit more pore filling but this is pretty pore filling this feels so unique in texture it is really nice i was expecting it to just feel like and not hydrating and I'm like super broken out right here right now and I have one coming in here and hormonal down here yeah that's nice but still push it shut because even though it like clips back down really nicely it does need that final push to really seal and you're going to want to make sure it seals nicely i think i need to throw my hair up even though i know that's going to make it crinkle because it just finished blow drying it so i will be right back so now let's try the hourglass as my color corrector today doesn't seem as peachy now that it's on my eyes not like my urban decay but the swatch was hella peachy I'm gonna go ham with some color correcting like all over since the foundation is not full coverage and you guys know I'm a full coverage feet. <laughs> so we are just gonna lay down a base. This one isn't burning my eyes the way the concealer did. That's super weird.
Okay, wow. Um, so that hourglass, like peachy toned color corrector just like canceled out everything on my face. So wow on that, that was like a great color corrector substitute. And this powder puff just kind of blew my expectations out of the water. I really was not expecting that. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to lay down my P. Louise base, I think. Maybe not. No, maybe I'm just going to do my normal uh, MAC paint pot for now. No, let's do the P. Louise. I got my white one in that I couldn't find and so I haven't had a chance to use this one yet. I'm doing the ABH Amrezy eyeshadow palette today and uh, before you know we start setting everything down I do want this laid down as well. So since I have a bunch of these to go let's test if I can actually get this laid down with her other puff too. Well, look at that. It works for just little guys at home for your eyelids too. So if you're like me and you want to order multiples so you don't have like that cross contamination risk or for washing purposes, you just want to have a backup or whatever, you can have one of the little guys in your purse and you can have one ready for like little eyelid work like this. Boom. Okay, now for all of these foundations. Start with 100 Classic Alabaster. So this wants a lot of priming. Yeah, this is not opaque at all. Uh, not my type of foundation, that is for sure. It's like super runny. I think it's going to be way too fair for me. Ugh. And then we have 110. There's 110. 140 is nude ivory. Might do that one. And then the last one is 150 cool shell. I don't know. I'm torn between the last two shades. So they go from lightest to darkest. No, maybe I'm gonna stick with, because 150 Cool Shell has a little bit more of a pinky undertone, where I can use like, uh, 140 Nude Ivory is a little bit more neutral, I guess. I am so bummed that this is not it's light to medium, like you're so bummed. All right, here we go. And that's one bump. <laughs> Mom, my third pump. 
Kram. Okay, this is just not the foundation for me at all. I mean, that is over top of a concealer and I just don't like it. This is doing a beautiful job. This foundation is just the first miss from Milani because I loved her. Um, oh my gosh, her stick foundation as well, like her original foundation and her stick foundation. Those two are so incredible. But this is just like so bad. So. Let's take a pause for a second. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation because it's more dewy and it will glide over top of this more easily than like, you know, my Smashbox full coverage, for instance. So you guys know that I am in the shade one and three cool mixed together. So I'm just gonna do that uh, really quickly and we're still gonna use her powder puff. I just need to do a little mix. Already, this just feels so much nicer. All right, I just quickly flipped it over. I don't know if you guys saw that to try to pick up excess product. And a big part of me is like, I still wanna go get my beauty blender and go over my face because that's what I'm so used to doing. Uh, but I don't feel like I need to by looking at it. 
it's just like that urgency because I've been doing it for so long. But look how much nicer this finish is. And this is doing such a good job. I really am shocked. Like, I really am. So now we'll uh, do the neck. I don't know what kind of top I'm wearing, so I don't want to bring it down uh, beyond just like my neck. I don't want to blend it out like down here. That was so much more gentle than a brush. Wow. Okay. Now that that's staying top shelf, uh, concealer time. So I have Fair 20N and Light 40N from the ColourPop concealers. All right, taking Fair 20N. Seems nice and creamy. And then light 40N. That's more peachy too. So we're definitely gonna be going with the light baby. Look at the difference. Fair, I mean, fair 20, because the other one's light. So the, the lighter one is what I meant. Even this is not quite as light as I would like it to be. That looks really pretty though. Normally I like my concealer to sit under my eyes a little bit and thicken up. I just don't know what to expect out of ColourPop. So I didn't want to do that. But it's a really nice concealer. This really gets around the nose so nicely. Look how pretty that concealer is. Now I am gonna do my little trick with, if I can find it, the Urban Decay Stay Naked Pro Customizer in Pure White and just take a little dab to brighten up the inner corners because that is just not really white enough. Or, I mean, light enough. Whoa, yeah, the more light 40 neutral sits, that's not even gonna be like Well, it could be an intense color corrector. So I'll save it and see where things go. I'm gonna take this little guy. We're getting right up in here. Damn guys, these are so good. 
Okay, now I'm really scared to try the powder because we all know that powder can make or break anything. So this is what the color looks like, slightly tinted. Uh, this isn't the uh, powder that I want to push into my skin with the powder puff. I have another one that I also forgot to grab and read during the unboxing, so we're gonna do that in a second. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this on my normal IT Cosmetics Love Beautifully, IT for Ulta, complexion number 225, I believe. Let me check that in one second. Yes. Oh no, I was gonna try some cream products, cream highlights. And I forgot. Wow, that's not messing around. Okay, why is my nose breaking apart all of a sudden? Well, this is not kidding about being a mattifying powder, and it is a nice powder. It's not breaking the foundation apart. It's not separating it, bunching. This is a nice color too. All right, well that is locked down. So that is a really nice lightweight powder. And it does say translucent light medium, so I guess it really is translucent, which is like a hint of color. So that does it for this video because the cream testing that I wanted to do is gonna be in the next one with highlight, contour, and all of that. And I might actually end up having to redo some of this because I totally forgot about the cream products. All right, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Thanks so much for watching this video. I really hope that I helped you guys, at least in the Milani area, if you were hoping to get it and hoping that it would be amazing. But again, everybody's skin is different. So who knows, maybe it will work for you just because it didn't work for me. So um, just buyer beware, I guess, because I just couldn't believe how it sat on my skin, but all of the other products were really beautiful, and I highly recommend everything else that I tested in this video. So that is it for this one, and until next time, good night, good morning, wherever you are. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.